In this example, we're going to use assignments to send out a OneNote document to our class, but also attach a rubric for easy marking. So let's have a look how to do that. So with assignments, we create an assignment. And this assignment is going to be about designing a website. I'm going to enter my instructions in here and I'll just paste that in. Here's my instructions. So I've said three pages and all the instructions are attached to the OneNote page. I've also said to look at the rubric to understand how the students are going to be assessed. So let's have a look at rubrics. So from here I can choose add rubric. And I can create a new one. And this lets me set the criteria that I want for my rubric. So I could have my criteria of things like completeness. I could have accuracy, the different ones. And then to get excellent and good and fair and poor, I can change these headings to be great job or whatever it might be that you want to have. Then you could enter the criteria for each of the rubric options in each one. Now I've got one prepared, so I'll just open that up so we can see that. So I've created the rubric previously. I'm going to upload it here. And this is my rubric. So I've got great job, good work, good effort, and need some more help. So I've got my statements of what I want my students to do. And I've got the criteria that's all listed here. And the students can see all this. Now you can set some points and I've said yes. So I've got four points for great job, three points, two points and one point. And you can add weightings to each of the criteria. And I've got four criteria here and I've set them all to be 25%. I've got the title and I've got the description of what this rubric is. And in my description, I've got a comment on the task and the things that they need to have to include. I can now attach that to my assignment. Set due date. I go to all students. So now I've attached my rubric. What I want to do is add the OneNote page that I'd ask the students to fill in. So I'm going to press add resources. I've got a page in my teacher section. Web design and development and Music Store Project Part 1. I'm going to attach that. I'm going to put it into the Handouts folder of my students' notebooks. So that's my resource attached, my instructions, and my rubric. I'm now going to send that out to the pupils. Now that's been set out, what I can do is just check what the students will see. So up to here and choose student view. So the students see this, they see the instructions, they see the link to their OneNote page and the rubric. So they can press the rubric at any time to see what they have to do to get the points. They can click on the link straight to their OneNote page and they can see what they have to do. Back in the teacher view, I can go to my assignments and have a look at the website design task. I can see that one of them has been handed in, so I can click on that and it immediately takes me to the page in the student's notebook. And I can have a look at the submission that's been given. Now, because I've used a rubric for this, I can click on the rubric and decide on what I want to award the student. So for completeness, are all the attributes present? Is it missing one? So it's actually missing one attribute because there's no video there. So I'm going to click that and move on to the next one. The navigation in this case, it's only got one page, but it's consistent. So I'm going to press this one. I can move on to the next option about the use of appropriate elements. That's great. 
and the styling information it's pretty good and at the bottom here I can add some more detailed feedback if I so want once I'm happy with that I press done and I can give specific feedback here if I want so using the rubric has allowed me to quickly assess the piece of work done by the student give some feedback based on the criteria that I set here give some personalized feedback if I so want and the generic feedback statement this is a quick way you can give feedback to your students on project-based tasks.